Also right now here at noon, nearly two dozen residents forced out by flames after a fire at an apartment building in Lauder Hill. We've learned two people were injured, including a baby. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live at the scene. And I know you talked with some of the residents who are now displaced. What do they have to say, Joseph? So 22 people, and, and that includes 13 children, they were all displaced from this fast-moving fire that did happen, all evacuated at this time. And we did learn that an infant did suffer serious burns from this fire. Oh, my God. Somebody's stuck up there. Cell phone video taken by a person who evacuated from the third floor of the Inverry Club Apartments shows the building filled with smoke. Another angle shows smoke shooting out from the top of the building. While it's hard to see, cell phone video captures someone possibly stuck and screaming for help. Lauder Hill Fire Rescue tells us the apartment fire happened around 836 Thursday night along the 2600 block of Northwest 56th Avenue. The fire was reported to be on the fourth floor and when crews arrived, they saw heavy smoke and the apartment building was being evacuated. The fire so intense. Several surrounding agencies such as Sunrise Fire Rescue and Tamrac Fire Rescue all helped in this firefight. Neighbors describing to us the scary moments. I did hear screams and stuff, so I thought it was a fight. So I stuck my head out the door to see what was going on. And then that's when I seen black smoke. It would take crews almost 45 minutes to get the fire under control. Two patients suffered burns, an infant who suffered a minor burn to the arm and a woman who suffered second degree burns to her arm and was taken to a nearby hospital where she is said to be in stable condition. Although the fire was contained to one apartment, three other apartments suffered water damage. So thankfully in all of this, even though there are injuries, everyone is expected to be okay. Thankfully, we are working at this time to find out the cause of this fire. Once we do learn any more information, we'll be sure to let you know. We're here in Lauderdale this evening. I'm Joseph Fojo, Local 10 News.